They'll be calling you a radical, Kevin Blanche. We're at Indian Point Nuclear Generator here in New York. As I've ranked the fourth most dangerous nuclear reactor in the world post Fukushima. Now, I did lecture after lecture after lecture. Well, hundreds of people said, where it's going to happen, where it's going to happen. We used to always rank Fukushima as number one. Everybody did. It was logical. Tsunamis, earthquakes happened there. You know, so I rank Indian Point as number four. Most dangerous on the face of the earth right now. Number one, San Onofre. Which San Onofre shut down, we got it shut, doesn't matter. Spent fuel, freaking right there, ready to kill the fucking world. Diablo Canyon, number three, Oyster Creek. That fucking Fukushima design, fucking Mach 1, fucking, I mean, mega Jersey disaster, right? But any point, let's talk about this. The first nuclear reactor in the history of mankind that is able to operate without a license. Now, everybody says that why was the license denied? Because of the Coastal Commission filed uh, environment. No, 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 no. That's a piece of it. It's much, the NRC has denied this. The NRC has came out over and over and over and says these crooks that own this thing are freaking. We're, they're told to do this, 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 and they refuse to do it. They, you know, they're crooks. Now, I want people to understand in New York, New York City, these are not public utilities. Thank you to Bill Walmart Clinton. He deregged them. You know, remember Enron? Remember Kenneth Lay? Where is freaking Hitler in the bunker in Argentina? Where's Kenneth Lay? But remember Enron? Remember Enron? I want people to understand these nuclear reactors are owned by the exact same old players. The energy solutions in South Carolina and Utah are owned by the same place. They were started by a bunch of old Goldman Sachs attorneys. I mean, there's big money in plutonium making bombs. Huge money through the government subsidy. Look, we don't use the energy from this thing. No, oh, it's a replacement for dirt. No, it's not. No, it's not. Solar took the field. Natural gas took the field a long time ago. We have a grid. We don't use it. It's a cash cow from hell because of the government subsidies. The government subsidy at the federal level is massive. Gigantic. I mean, it's incredible. It's a cash cow. Matt and project opened the vet. The, Kafasa and it never turned it off. These guys all know this. So Indian Point has the control rods drop into the core here a couple months ago. I have an insider that works there. He, he says, well, oh, you're dangerous there. And don't you run like how they rank these accidents from one to seven? Oh, that's gonna be a scale of one to ten. No, it's not. Seven's the maximum. That's malice by inception. The whole industry's based on fraud. The whole industry's based on freaking money coming out. And I also want to talk about this is a major, major story. The third reactor goes on in Japan. Okay, the third reactor, they didn't announce it was going to be the MOX yeah, freaking thing. nightmare. What's that? They're good. The MOX nightmare fuel? They didn't know that, so why would they? What? What's MOX fuel? What? That's, look, there's only one reason to re rectify plutonium to make this, which they're using fast breeder on from hell to make nuclear weapons. I thought Reagan and Gorbachev said no more nuclear weapons at Y12, Megan Rice. Y25, they're still making nuclear weapons. Why? Because it's the cash cow. Lockheed Martin G. I mean, because the fear complex feed the beast. Oh, you know, military and doctor. Here, all the money in the world. Don't you think these guys know that? That's why this thing went on. Japan is nothing but a nuclear weapons island to make freaking nuclear bombs and nuclear weapons. The fucking United States is 51st fucking state after Yalta by the sea. Barry Antoinette, the only thing he ever said true when he went over there. These treaties were signed long before I was born. Stand down, Barry Antoinette. So they put them up to point their nuclear weapons at China. This is the fucking new Cold War on Balco. So this thing's operating without a license. It's a catastrophe. It is a major ticking fucking time. It's old. It's worn out. It's broke down. It's liars. It's cheaters. It is everything that's fucking wrong with America fucking right now. And I got news for you. The automatic evacuation zone through the, that's why there's no evacuation plan. Because you're going to evacuate New York City. We're fucking what? As the crow flies 30 miles up the fucking road? That's an evacuation. So you think it's even possible to evacuate? New York? No. Hunker now, just like they did on martial law the other night. I was there. I was told to get off the streets of New York City. Business owners, I know plenty of business owners in Brooklyn that were forced to shut down. They said, that's never happened before. There's been lots of big storms in this city. And they're like, they told me to get off the street. I says, really? I've never been told. What is this Mussolini fascism? He says, no, that's what we're told. He laughed. And I said, well, you got the gun and I don't. I'm getting off the street. Okay. But they arrested all kinds of people for just walking in the snowstorm. For real. So. There is no evacuation plan. 
because it's impossible. And this thing is a ticking fucking... Look, they've had three sevens in the last year. You drop control rods into a fucking core. Oh, my God. Do you... Uh, whoa. There's... And I like how you people... Oh, put this in your film festival. We're going to make Yo. a nice new pretty film festival. You know? The film festival died with YouTube. The best fucking documentary films are made free. They're on YouTube. So, oh, put this in your fucking film festival, Redford. I live there. Fuck Redford. I know Redford. So all things, so you want to walk good documentaries about this thing? Oh, we made a new pretty fucking documentary about India Poi. My mommy said I was fucking special and gave me some money. We're going to pass out cheese balls and drink champagne in our fucking nice club. Fuck you and your film festivals. They're a joke. They're captured. They're a fucking elitist club. Fucking Redford himself says I'm an elitist, that piece of shit. You know, he's not from Utah, he needs to get his fucking ass the fuck out of here. I'd like to, I mean, that piece of shit. So, but I'm a peace activist, you know. But this is a fucking mega disaster at India Point. We don't use it. And you morons that think it's clean. Do you know anything about a uranium mine? Do you know anything about uranium tailings? Do you know anything about the nuclear waste? Stay in tune it. Mm-hmm.